So conservation of energy is a huge idea and where that energy goes and this idea of dissipation, which was the trouble for people like Watt and Joule. The law of conservation of energy just states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, just transferred from store to store. So whatever the energy in a system we had at the start is the same as the total energy we have in that system at the end after a change. So there's two ways that energy can be used. It can be used usefully or it can be wasted. Usefully just refers to what we wanted a appliance to do. Remember though, there's no change to the overall energy, the total energy of the system. That's what the law of conservation of energy says. And in every transfer, there's some energy transferred as heating to the surroundings. We cannot avoid that. as usually a wasted form. So usually that's not what we want to happen. And we call this heating of the surroundings dissipation of energy. It's spreading out and becoming in too small quantities to be used again. In the idea of conservation energy, we're just adding this idea that actually the decrease in one store equals the increase in another. It's still the same central idea. Energy in one store is being transferred into another store, but the decrease is equal to the increase. The decrease of one store is equal to the increase in the other stores. Because in reality, we don't just have energy going from one store and another. There is always going to be a little of energy transferred to heating of the surroundings. So for example, and let's say this is a car, the chemical store of the fuel is mechanically transferred into a useful kinetic store and the thermal store of the surroundings. So this plus this equals the start. So now the decrease of the starting store actually equals the increase of the final stores. It's just that it's going not into one store but into two and this pretty much always happens and we can't avoid it we can however limit it so here's some examples of energy being dissipated when you pump air into a tire the temperature of that air actually increases when you do work against friction whenever you rub two surfaces together sanding sawing or hammering then the temperature of that surrounding also increases water at a higher temperature than the surroundings then that increases the temperature of those surroundings until the water reaches thermal equilibrium the same temperature with the surroundings that's quite obvious you'll know that that if you leave a hot drink out then it will eventually reach room temperature but you probably didn't recognize that was about the conservation of energy so there are ways to limit the rate at which heat is dissipated energy will be dissipated at a lower rate if a machine is lubricated that means using oil or even sometimes graphite or just water, something to make friction a little bit less between the parts of the machine. Or energy will be dissipated at a lower rate if a thermal store is insulated. So if you use an insulated mug, your tea will cool at a lower rate and the energy will be transferred less rapidly at a lower rate to the surroundings. There's just one more idea. Well, whilst we're talking about dissipation of heat, we're talking about conductivity and conduction. So a material with a high thermal conductivity transfers energy by conduction more rapidly. So there is a demonstration that normally is shown rather than by holding onto rods, rather than by something like a pin, then we can demonstrate that one metal actually transfers heat at a higher rate than another metal. Or metals, let's say, transfer heat at a higher rate than wood and that means they have a higher thermal conductivity. Now in GCSE, I don't want to read that this thing is a conductor and this thing is an insulator. What I want to read is this thing has a higher conductivity than this one does. And that is just acknowledging the fact that nothing is completely one or the other. There isn't a set of perfect conductors and perfect insulators, but there's this scale of conduction or insulation depending on how high the conductivity is.